Hey, I'm John Coley with Lake Martin Voice Realty, and I'm at the site of a uh, construction zone. It's about to become a construction zone for a seawall. And uh, last winter, I did a couple of videos on uh, doing concrete, a new concrete seawall where one hadn't been before. So this winter, I decided it'd be a good idea to go show a seawall that has failed and uh, what can be done to repair it because having your seawall and your dock, those are big items when you're thinking about buying a home or a waterfront lot on Lake Martin. Here's so, the view from the top. You can see the long original length of the seawall. That's failed and it's eroded back about six or eight feet. Here's another vantage point. You can see the top, that's the top of the old wall you see laid on the, on the what is now the lake floor. A lot of times when the seawall is failing or in the process of failing during the summer, especially if you don't see any erosion, that uh, the water's pressure on the other side may be kind of equalizing it and holding it up. And so then that the, the system's weaknesses are revealed when the water goes down and there's no longer that equalization of pressure. Um, a lot of times on these seawalls, people put tie-ins. Uh, and so what they've done is they've drilled a hole into the post on the wall and then they tie it back to an anchor inside the uh, wall or inside the dirt itself. They call this, you know, a dead man also is another word for it. Here's what the seawall, this is a wooden seawall originally, here's what it's supposed to look like. And then over here on this side, so you can see it's falling down. We're, later I'm going to talk with Scott Henderson of Henderson and Coker. Um, they are the contractors that are going to be repairing this particular seawall and he's going to kind of tell us a little bit about what went wrong with this one and what how you go about fixing something like this. Right now while I'm filming this, this is uh, late November uh, 2012 on Lake Martin and I think our water level is about 481 today. In other words, we're down about nine feet from the normal summer pool. And um, the water goes up and down every year based on a rule curve. Uh, and one of the reasons that happens is it gives you a chance to work on these type things. But again, uh, when you're looking for a waterfront home on Lake Martin or a lot, you really want to pay close attention to the dock, to the seawall, and make sure it, it, uh, that both of those things meet your needs.